Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Got Ogre vibes going on today. Anybody know who Ogre is? Ogre is the witch from the one eye or yeah. Does she have one eye or I think she did just take one out? I don't remember. But the witch from uh, the Dark Crystal. The sketches and, and the girl flames. Yeah, this is, I'm feeling those vibes today, guys. So, if I talk in uh, riddles, just kind of ignore it. All right, let's see what's going on for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have a masculine. So, you might be dealing with a Leo or an Aries, or both, but we have strength. There's something that you're going through right now, Cancer, that you need strength to overcome. Because, okay, where you're at right now is the boss. I'm the boss. Okay? Or you're dealing with a boss. What's crossing you is stuck. Stuck in your head. Stuck, stuck all... It's an, it's an illusion, see? It's not, it's not really there, but I think... I feel like you're all balled up like this. Look. So, in the distant past, we had... In the recent past, we had a healing that took place. And it took a long time to heal. Was that ouchie? In the immediate future, the Five of Pentacles might lose a little bit of money, or you're go you're about to ghost somebody, because the factors affecting the situation is three people. Outside influence is the Nine of Wands, so somebody got hurt. Hopes and fears is the queen of pentacles that is the wife that is the mother that is the boss and at the final outcome there is good news because here is your brand new beginning in finances you went from the five of pentacles in the immediate future to the final outcome of the ace of pentacles so that's not a bad deal Let's see what all this is about. What did it take a long time for you to heal over in the past? Seven of Wands. So I got the Three of Wands upright, Four of Cups in reverse, the Two of Wands in reverse, the Five of Swords, and the Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands in reverse. So, this healing that took place, you didn't feel like you had any choice. You had to let go of something. You had to let go of a fight. You were fighting something. And you don't feel like you have a choice here. Uh, with, but I do believe that it is coming around. It is, it's not something that just happened overnight. It's something that took quite a while. I'm seeing the number nine be significant in this reading. So that could mean next month. Where you're at right now. You're at your Nine of Cups, but it's pretty heavy. Ten of Wands says you're about to drop some... You're about to drop some responsibilities. Your wish is to drop some responsibilities. Get some more information. 
attention. Yeah. You're cutting people off left and right. You becoming the queen of swords. Check it out, guys. The queen of my fucking swords. That's this card right here. I took cosplay party last night, and that was my character. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? I said, I'm a queen of my fucking swords, bitches. <laughs> it was fun. I had a good time. Um, yeah, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. I got a lot to do today, so I had to get up early. Um, so, yeah, look at that card. You're smacking people in the head with a mallet, sticking them with your sword over there in the corner, and then you're wrapping a bag around them and hanging them in the backyard. And then you're going back to tending your garden. So you're dropping these wands. You're dropping these responsibilities that make you feel like you're stuck. You're moving forward. What is this Eight of Swords about, Spirit? So you just spent a lot of money on something. Could be a new car. Uh, something legal. Four of Pentacles in reverse. That means that tells me you spent the money on something legal. Could be a Libra. Could be a Virgo. And we do have the Knight of Swords in reverse and the King of pentacles in reverse. I think the, the, this might have been some kind of legal action that you didn't have any choice but to handle. And you were very strategic about it. You knew that it was going to cost you. But you had the money to pay for it. I don't know what that means. You just take it how it resonates. Could be a court case. But it could also be a new car. Maybe your car broke down and you had to spend a little extra cash buying a car. Immediate future is balance. Sagittarian energy, the temperance. This is on the Five of Pentacles. Um, hair font in reverse. So, somebody screwed you out of some money here. A king of cups. Yep. I got the temperance upright, Sagittarius, the king of cups in reverse, the queen of pentacles in reverse, the fool in reverse, and the seven of swords upright. So, And this could even be you, Cancer. Finding balance in your life by getting rid of someone. The King of Cups. No longer the Queen of Pentacles. Not taking any risks on any liars. You see this coming from a mile away. You are you you Pisces and Scorpio are the most psychic signs. There's a contract being broken here in the immediate future. Financially or otherwise, there's a contract being broken. And somebody's lying. I think cancer after after this mess you're just trying to find balance in your situation. There are three people here, though. Let's find out who these three people are. You. Somebody's not using their intuition here. Like I said, there's an, I feel like there's a new car on the table. 
maybe for a kid. Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody's going to have to sacrifice something here. Because they're not they're not judging a situation properly. They're misjudging a situation. And we have con to avoid conflict. It's like they just they just don't want to fight. Cuz we got the Knight of Swords here in reverse as well. Somebody just don't want to fight about it anymore. Got the Five of Swords in reverse. But I feel like maybe somebody just got a new car. Could be a page of wands. And there's no communication between you and this person. You guys just... It's like you want to let it go. There might be up to five people involved in this. Queen of Wands in reverse tells me somebody who ain't got their shit together. They are completely at a loss. Like I said, it could be a child. But this person cannot get their shit together. That's why... It's like cancer, you're coming to save the day. And that's not... It's not a good judgment to save the day. Sometimes people gotta fall on their face for you to, uh, for them to learn, and this, it looks like you're, you're saving this person's ass. I've done it. I've done it a bunch of times, so I know. Out of love, out of kindness, out of forgiveness, you, you're saving this person's ass at your own expense. And they're lying to you. Two of them want to come out. Yeah, this is going to cost you some money. It really is. I don't know what's going on here, but it's not over. It has to do with, now we have death in reverse, the queen of cups. So there's no transformation of the situation. You're hurt. You still love them. The cold hard truth, though... You got played. And it left you confused and upset. And I hear somebody trying to apologize. Trying to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because there's three people here. There was an ulterior motive the whole time. There was a third person involved and an ulterior motive the whole time. So there was no brand new beginning in finances here. However, it looks like that's how it's going to turn out by the end of this reading. And my readings only go up to three months, guys. I don't go past that because one decision can change everything. You know, somebody could get a clue here and turn all that, all that right side up by making the right decision. So, if, sorry guys, just waking up. Trying to get some caffeine in me. <laughs> um, I went to a party last night, but I, I came home like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I, I can't do it like I used to do it. And I didn't drink. So, and the food was... So. Let's see what the Queen of Pentacles is about here. Yeah, this person ain't even apologizing for what they did. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. All right. This person, I, I think, is has a mental illness, cancer. They're not even apologizing for what they did. They're a liar. They're taking everything that you give them and not even... I, I don't think you see this coming. But, again, I've got the page of... Page of Cups in reverse that tells me a child with a mental illness, possibly, that you love, that does nothing but lie about working, about whatever it is that they're trying to say to you that they're growing. They're not. They're lying about it because they're not emotionally stable enough to handle it. 
could be a Pisces. I got Pisces, Scorpio, um, you, Sagittarius, and I think that's it. Oh, yeah, no, Scorpio again, so Scorpio twice. But like I said, you're not seeing something here, Cancer, and like I said, somebody's not using their intuition. Somebody's not catching up to whatever this, this person's good. Whoever they are, if it's a kid, master manipulator. I mean, master manipulator. If this is somebody like in their early 20s or, or something, uh, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. I feel like this might be like mom, dad, and kid. Uh, but, you know, take it out, it resonates. It could, be, it could be a lover. It could be a different situation. But I feel like it's affecting your work. Turn the deck around. Uh, what is this Ace of Pentacles about, Spirit? What is this Ace of Pentacles about? I am turning the deck around. This definitely involves a family. And it's, I mean, you love these people so much. <clears throat> and I think you're doing a lot of self-sacrificing for them. Your own happiness. And maybe you don't have any choice. Maybe they're your kid. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. If they're over 18, you have a choice. You do have a choice. We get the devil in reverse. Somebody's definitely releasing some kind of burden here. Releasing some kind of possibly an addiction. Which is beautiful. Moving on. But they're getting ready to go through a dark night of the soul. And you're about to get an offer from an empress in reverse. Okay. So, look at that page. Ain't even got any shoes on. And the empress upright is somebody who's a boss, who handles their business, who's got it together. Whoever you're dealing with does not have it together, even though even though they're trying to they're trying to convince you that they got it together, that they know what they're doing. They don't. They're lying to you. And I think you know this already. But like I said, love's a powerful tool. Powerful thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. So, we got competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder. Look over your shoulder. Please look over your shoulder. Because this brand new beginning is going to depend on your intuition. Uh, the other woman. Oh, I have Leo here too, guys. Alright, so this person I think is extremely jealous of you and mentally ill and, and you're gonna... But you care about them. You're not meeting anybody right now because you're too busy healing from an empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used boundaries I see strong boundaries need to be instilled here and you don't have any faith in love Aww, for you cancer that makes me sad uh, I think this person is following you around and they're watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. Uh, 
Oh, okay. So, the mental illness here is this person is a narcissist. And narcissists gaslight. They walk around telling you what's wrong with you and your life so they feel better about themselves. And they are watching everything that you do out of jealousy. They want what you have. They have not earned it. Uh, not in the slightest. Because they, they, they need some help, guys. This person needs some help. They have some kind of mental illness that is preventing them from growing up. And my advice is maybe a psychiatrist. You know, I, I don't know. If you love this person, it's going to be hard to let go of them. You may even have to do it legally. Toil and labor. So, I feel like either this is a mature woman or you're the mature woman. Somebody just lost their job. And they're dealing with a court case and a home. It cost a lot of money. I feel like these people are breaking you, Cancer. They're family. And they're, and, and they're putting you in this kind of energy. But hang in there, babies. Because I got, I got the Ace of Pentacles coming to you. You are going to win some kind of court case here. And there will be a fortune involved. So, 2222. Two, two, two. Follow those numbers. Um, I feel like you found another way to make money here, Cancer. You have shit to take care of. You have home, home, family, and all that to take care of. So I do feel like you found another source of income. But you are definitely dealing with somebody that you need to enable boundaries with. You need to, boundaries because you're allowing, you're self-sacrificing over somebody who needs to see a psychiatrist who is not well mentally. So, take care of yourselves, my babies. Don't let people put you in this kind of a energy because it does interrupt your manifestations. Let's see what's going on with each sign. Aries, I do wish you well. Taurus, in that moment, I didn't care. Gemini, I've been struggling. Cancer, I wish you would come back. Leo, you are not part of my plan. Really. Virgo. You're so easy to see through. <laughs> you got a lot of nerve. Libra. I know you more than you think. Scorpio. We are not right for each other. Sagittarius, you can't come with me. Capricorn, I'm happy that it's over. Could be that Capricorn in reverse. The double card. 
Aquarius, yes, it is too late. And Pisces, I don't trust you. And you to everybody else, I scared myself that day. So like I said, there is some kind of mental illness here. And I do believe you're doing everything that you can and within your power to hold your cookies together here. Because you know you're psychic. So you know these you know these people are lying and you just want the truth. Just give me the truth. Or hang in the backyard with the rest of the bitches. You want balance, you want stability in your life. And and it's like these people that are in your life are doing everything but giving you stability. We have the High Priestess. Like I said, it's time to use your intuition and illuminate the things that are stopping you from manifesting. Because I feel like this has totally got your manifestations all discombobulated. <clears throat> you got Isis, though. That's a good card. Okay, this says Isis, the Egyptian High Priestess is the great mother goddess of the universe who overcame death to resurrect her lover Osiris. The benevolent mythical goddess of the people, Isis embodies fertility and nourishment of all things in heaven and earth. Beautiful Isis spreads her magnificent wings, navigating the realms of spirit with ease. She is the moon and pure intention. She is the mother of the sun. Resourceful and self-contained, Isis lives beyond the earthly dimension. She activates the inner voice. Isis represents the internal communication with spirit, offering nourishment from the divine. She is universal wisdom. Isis shows you how to live and navigate your life through honor, the honoring of your inner guidance and intuitive knowing. Her magnificent present radiates her shining wisdom that is present to experience. Your intuition is accessed through the depth of your being and knowing, through introspective and receptive states, through meditation and the dream time. Isis urges you to take no counsel outside of your own wisdom, to go deep into your inner landscape where the guidance you seek is found. Boss and up, Queen of Swords. Not taking any more shit from anybody. And learning how to navigate through these difficult waters that you find yourself in. Alright. Well, those are your messages. Please remember to smash that like button, subscribe and share. I will see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.